This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at acid base indicators. Acid base indicators are weak acids or bases in which the undissociated and dissociated forms have different colors. Litmus is an indicator that turns red in an acidic solution and blue in an alkaline solution. As we can see from this equation, the undissociated form of litmus has a red color and the dissociated form of litmus has a blue color. Next we look at why litmus paper changes color in acidic and alkaline solutions. In acidic solutions which have a high concentration of hydronium ions, the equilibrium shifts to the left and the red color is seen. So in solutions with a high concentration of hydronium ions, the equilibrium shifts to the left and litmus appears a red color. In alkaline solutions which have a high concentration of hydroxide ions, the equilibrium shifts to the right and the blue color is seen. So in solutions with low concentrations of hydronium ions, the equilibrium shifts to the right and litmus appears a blue color. Next we look at the end point. The end point of an indicator is the pH at which it changes color. An indicator changes color when the pH is equal to its pKa. Because indicators are weak acids, we can write an expression for the acid dissociation constant Ka. When the indicator is in the middle of its color change, the concentration of the dissociated form is equal to the concentration of the undissociated form. Therefore, these two cancel out in the equation and we are left with Ka is equal to the concentration of the hydronium ions. If we take the log of both sides, an indicator changes color when the pKa is equal to the pH of the solution. Table 22 of the data booklet has a list of acid-base indicators, the pKa values and the pH range over which they change color. The color change of an indicator can be considered to take place over a range of the pKa value plus or minus one unit. For example, the pKa of methyl orange is 3.7 and the pH range over which it changes color is 3.1 to 4.4. This is approximately the pKa value plus or minus one unit. Next we look at choosing an indicator for a titration. So we'll start off with a titration of a weak acid and a strong base. From the graph we can deduce that the pH at the equivalence point is 9.5. A suitable indicator for the titration of a weak acid and a strong base is phenolphthalein, which has a pH range of 8.3 to 10.0. Phenolphthalein is a suitable indicator to use because the pH at the equivalence point lies within the pH range of the indicator. Let's look at one more example, which is the titration of a weak base and a strong acid. The pH at the equivalence point is 5.0. A suitable indicator for the titration of a weak base and a strong acid is methyl red, which has a pH range of 4.4 to 6.2. This is a suitable indicator because the pH of the equivalence point lies within the pH range of the indicator. 